Today, Governor Roy Cooper will be hosting the first of three women's health roundtables across North Carolina. And it comes as we are awaiting his expected veto of a bill of new abortion restrictions. Our Jackie Pascal joins us live this morning. Jackie, tell us where are these roundtables happening? Well, the first of these roundtables is happening today at noon in Mecklenburg County, and then Governor Rick Cooper also says he'll be hitting New Hanover County, and then eventually Guilford County has not released details on exactly when or where that will be yet, but we do know that Governor Rick Cooper plans to talk about in these discussions, raising awareness about the dangers of this so-called abortion ban. As a reminder, Republican lawmakers passed this legislation last week that would ban the procedure after 12 weeks of pregnancy. That's down from 20 weeks. It also plays Places limits on exceptions of rape, incest, or for life limiting birth defects. The bill includes more in person appointments and paperwork requirements for patients and physicians, also licensing requirements for abortion clinics. The governor says all of this infringes on women's ability to receive necessary health care. In announcing these roundtables, Cooper also called out four Republicans who campaigned on promises to protect women's reproductive health, and he's calling on them to vote to uphold his potential veto here and again he's hoping that he can have these discussions with voters in time so that they can reach out to their legislators and say that again they also support him upholding that veto and this potential veto override that will really be the first test of this GOP's new supermajority in this legislature and again as far as the Guilford County event goes we've not got any details on when or where that will be but of course we'll keep you updated here on air and online when we get that information live this morning in High Point Jackie Pascal to be I 12 News